first of all, I'd like to thank the International Committee for the invitation uh, to come here and give this paper today. I feel very honored to it since we have so many experts in this area in the audience. Have the first slide, please. The, the presentation is going to be very much technology-oriented, and I will be relating what we've been hearing thus far about arcing phenomena, about breakdown phenomena, to what sort of parameters are important in designing a vacuum switch here. I will also make reference to DC switches, and in both cases, I will discuss the importance of the interaction of the arcing plasma with applied magnetic fields both along the axis of the arc and also transverse the arc. The format of my presentation is first of all to describe a vacuum interruption, how is it constructed, how does it operate. Then discuss where are such vacuum interrupters applied. And here I'll be primarily talking AC and I will describe the ratings for a metal clad switch gear to give you a feel for the voltages and the currents involved in the development of such switch gear. I will then briefly talk about the basic properties of cathode spots and anode spots, such that we can then go through a half cycle of arcing and consider what physical phenomena occur during a half cycle of fault current arcing. Obviously, with interruption of current zero. Then I will make brief reference to uh, DC applications and the, the physics involved in two uh, particular areas. One, utilizing an axial magnetic field for a DC switch for the uh, tokamak machine, and also an application using the interaction of a vacuum arc with a transverse magnetic field, which has been used recently for metallic return transfer breaker on the Pacific intertie between Oregon and California. We have the next slide, please. This shows a schematic of a typical vacuum interrupter. We have two electrical contacts which are butting together in a high vacuum environment. When you separate these contacts during the, the passage of the AC current wave, you set up local hotspots on the electrodes and the arc, of course, burns in the metal plasma. You always get vapor moving away, or plasma, from the cathode regions. We will also be talking about the fact that at high current levels, we will also have significant evaporation from the anode regions. The vapor is continually uh, being evaporated from the electrodes is also continually condensing on both the electrodes and on the vapor condensation shield surrounding the electrodes. As you come down towards current zero, the number of cathode spots, the types of cathode spots that we've been discussing this morning, is continually decreasing. So the, the vapor production, the plasma production mechanism is decreasing. Condensation continues, of course, such that at current zero, you have a very rapid transition from a conductor to an insulator. The vapor condensation is included, the shield is included, to protect the insulating vacuum envelope from vapor deposition during the arcing of cycle. The high voltages are withstood by the, the vacuum condition and the ceramic envelope internally. Usually externally, you rely on the length of ceramic envelope exposed to the air to withstand the high voltage transients. 